So, Bob, we were just talking about a way that you guys have to help galvanize uh, steel without, you know, a little lower temperature and, you know, not so caustic. And it was very interesting. If you haven't seen that, that video is waiting at the uh, Zaclon.com website. You can check that out. But, uh, but right now we're talking about the repair of galvanized steel. What do you, what do you have to talk about? Well, the process of galvanizing is pretty robust. It, it, it does a pretty good job, uh, especially if it's using the right chemicals to prepare the steel to go into the molten zinc. But there's always something that could go wrong, even if it's a small spot where the galvanizing doesn't stick, or you have a chain to hold the pieces or the wire to hold the pieces while you're dipping them, and it makes a mark on the steel on the galvanized coating. So to fix that, you have, uh, there, there's a process, they call it touch up or repair galvanizing. And we, th there are th three or four different uh, approaches to it that the galvanizers use. We offer two of those uh, within Zaclon. And uh, it, it basically, it's trying to make sure that there's some zinc type protection galvanic protection uh, on the steel where those spots are. Okay. We have, uh, we have are we doing a demonstration right here in the uh, studio? Let's... No, I'm afraid that oh, these okay. don't melt quite that low. I was going to say, I'd have to put on, we'd have to put on suits and everything and fire yeah, up the yeah, yeah. furnace okay. over there. So. Yeah, going. All right. Um, the first is uh, the, what we call alloy repair rods. And these rods are either round like this or a square, uh, meter bar, they sometimes call these. Okay. And these, uh, this is a low temperature melting zinc tin alloy. The zinc tin alloy uh, melts at, you know, probably 600, 700 degrees. So you can use it and melt it onto the, onto the bare spot with a propane torch. So you, you, you heat up the steel, you heat up the, the rod, you may need to put a little flux on it okay. from your preflux tank that we, you know, we have been uh, selling and just basically almost like a crayon to, to that put, easy. put the uh, alloy on. Yeah. And then you may need to put another layer on after it cools to be, make sure you meet specifications. Sure. Sure. So that, that's the, the more, a little more labor intensive way. But uh, I feel like it's a, a better way to, to uh, touch up, especially since the temperature is so low. If it's coming up out of the molten zinc yeah. and you see there's a spot, you can almost use one of these as a crayon right on that right spot there. as it's coming out. So it's already at the temperatures you need to be able to put this on. Okay. Sounds so, easy. I mean, it sounds as easy as picking up a crayon. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. The other way, and, and it's the more common way for the galvanizers to use, is to use what they call a zinc-rich paint okay. or a touch-up paint. Is that that right there? And what we use, we have, is this called Zinco Spray, and it is a high zinc... Get that up there. Oh, okay. Zinco Spray. It has, it's a high zinc content paint that can spray on. We have a really good nozzle so that the sprays can be controlled well and it doesn't block up, which is the biggest problem for most of the uh, zinc rich paints that are out there. But you can use that, you clean the spot a little bit more and you know, maybe even wire brush it a little bit mm -hmm. to, to make sure that things are gonna stick and then you use the paint. Again, you're probably gonna have to put more than one coat on, but it, you put it on and it dries pretty quick and then you put another layer on. And that, because both of these have zinc in them, yeah. they will, provide galvanic protection. So even if they get scratched, they're still going to sacrifice themselves for the steel. So the steel won't rust as fast. Okay, all right. So two choices is somebody, uh, if you like spraying or if you like drawing with a crayon, which I like that analogy. Yeah. And you probably don't have to stay in the lines, right? I mean, just as long as you're close well, enough. Yeah, yeah, as long as we, we do have some of the uh, uh, people repairing 
will spray this the, the paint everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And they really don't need to because most of the defects are a quarter size or just a little bit long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what the rod would be just a thing to do. Just get in there and touch just it up. Just easy, so, yeah. Very nice. Well, Bob, thanks for sharing. Now, uh, best way of getting in touch with you if somebody's uh, interested in learning more? Easiest thing is to use my email, rwoods at zaclon.com, or you can reach out to our 800 number for customer service, 800-356-7327. And remember, you can always stop by the website if you're not already there, zaclon.com. A lot more videos like this with some uh, great ideas and neat products that, uh, that the Bob and his crew come out with, so check it out. Thank you.